Okay, so like I said, at this point, what we would we would have unlocked, and what you'd want to do is you'd want to do some battles. You would want to unlock your uh, your tech two guns. You would want to un uh, unlock them, your tier two guns. And uh, since I'm right on the edge, let's see if I put one. See, it puts me in tier two, so I can't have tier two guns. So let's say you buy tier two guns, and even if your bot won't allow you to have them. Um, I don't even have enough tier 2 guns. That's crazy. How did I play it? I must have just bought um, four and then by the time I got to tier 2, I was uh, got in tier 2, I unlocked tier 3s because I only have one. Oh, you know what? I have a bot that's already tier 2 or maybe it has tier 3s on it. I don't know, or a mixture of the two. Um, but maybe I just bought enough to build one robot and then like got him halfway done and that's probably how you should do it if uh, you can't you don't get enough RP to buy all of them and just go ahead and buy one do another battle buy another one even if you if you can sneak it on put it on if your bots really weak low low CPU usage put it on by all means put it put one on and if it doesn't put you in the tier two that's great and then um, um, do a battle and uh, replace some of these cubes and some uh, and the key points you want to put the cubes under your guns because um, these green blocks have 163 health these have 105 health these have 60 health so this block this tier 2 cube is like this block plus a tier 1 armored block plus still has three more health to it so um, the guns do a lot more damage but um, and p-flops wise if I replace this all with these cubes it'll be the exact same p-flops I don't have enough cubes so if I gotta buy cubes I'm gonna go to the cube depot I'm buying round of cubes buying 10 of these yes I'm buying 30 of these now you notice these are a little bit more expensive they're 32 per per cube so it gets a little expensive and I find sometimes I would just get basically owned and a better for two cubes three cubes um, when you first play the game since you can get as many of these as you want you basically gonna have blocks and then just a couple battles you can get into tier two so you, nobody really has a lot of these um, and uh, you know just buy a couple blocks a couple blocks here a couple blocks there um, you know whatever you could afford I would always say go for guns first then go to armor um, when you're building a tier 2 bot, if you have tier 1 armor, like say I got 6 of these and 10 of these, put all these on. Put all your strong armor, your strongest armor as your core, and then put your, uh, your next strongest armor as your, uh, your, your secondary. Um, and, um, How many did I have? I want rat. I forgot what I bought. I had to take a phone call. Let's see. I bet you I don't have my mirror on. No! Inventory. Cubes. Okay, uh, you want 
your pilot seat to be protected. Uh, you want this spine. Like I said, a good place to put these cubes is under your pilot seat because you want your strongest cubes under your pilot seat because that's what determines when a thing blows up. Come on, get out of there. Um, that's a little bit of flaw. If a, if a cube is missing and it's not in mirror mode, it, um, you know what? Hmm. Let me try something here. Let me put these on the end. And then I'm going to put round cubes to kind of because I like round cubes. I need to stop calling them round cubes because they're not cubes at all. Um, nah, I'll keep those square. I got a lot of square that I need to. Uh, let's see. I got 60. Okay, I missed some. There's, you can, uh, like I said, put your best armor on the outside. Some people say make your core stronger. That way when your guns are shot off, you can make it back to base, all that, cr that mess. I found in the lower tiers, just build something. If it works, use it. If it doesn't work, find, find out how it comes apart. Like if it, if you find that like uh, your guns are getting shot off, try some um, electro plates. Try adding more cubes. Uh, try... Uh, just, just whatever the problem is, try to fix it. I, I, I don't find. Um, I see some people theory craft this to death, and uh, I see no point in it. Um, they had some stuff called tri forcing, and the basic theory is uh, like. Uh, like let's say a cube like this instead of having these blocks right here what you would do is like you would uh, you would put cubes like this and, well I can't do it there but like you'd put cubes here and then you'd put cube this way and then you put a cube like this and then since these cubes are not connected and this block gets hit, the damage has to go down because it can't go up because these cubes are not physically connected. But to be honest, if you see how quick the robots come apart, like they literally just start coming to pieces. And the uh, devs had come out and said they have patched that out. They call it triforcing because people use basically these prisms because they only connect on three sides, which really they connect on more than. No, they connect on four sides, but I, I don't know why they call it Triforce, but anyway, um, it connects on this side, it connects on this side, it connects on this side, it can, can connect on this side, but it, it doesn't connect on these sides. So if a, if, if, a, if a shot hits right here, it has to go down because it can't go this way. So basically you're channeling the damage, the direction that you want it to go, but the devs have said that they basically patched that out. If damage hits here and it has no place to go, like say this block gets destroyed, then this block gets destroyed, technically these blocks are still considered connected and these blocks will stay. Um, technically if these two blocks get destroyed and these blocks are not connected, then these would get destroyed so it doesn't matter if a, and then if a, a, a a, a shot hits here and it does enough damage to destroy this block and this block it's gonna go down into this block this block this block this block and you know go wherever it wants to go and so technically you know it, it's kind of bull you know it, it doesn't really work um, and literally if you did go through all there you know they talk about it like it's some kind of religion 
And if you go through all, you can spend hours trying to figure out which way the damage will go. It does work a little bit, but if, say, damage couldn't go down, it now just it picks a random place to jump. It jumps to the next closest cube. So if damage hits here and it can't go down because I took that block out, well, I couldn't use it because, you know, I couldn't use this because this block is red because it's not connected to anything. But technically, if damage went this way, and let's say I had all this Triforce some kind of way where damage could go down and destroy these four blocks but couldn't go this way or that way, guess what it would do? It would jump to this one or this one or it would jump to this one because this one's just as close. So it has been patched out and people still talk about it like you have to do it it's the only way to play the game and you can see people on twitch all you know spending hours building these triforced robots and to be honest the difference between spending eight hours on a fully triforced robot and one that is just built out of your head uh, the difference is it lasts two seconds longer. It, it, it really doesn't. I see a lot of people who build very, very successful robots. And all they really do is what you see me doing here. Just build a robot. Now, the better guys, one guy I watch on Twitch, he's really, really good. And he will kind of like, instead of do this... See, now the whole robot's not connected to the seat. He might put, uh, well, I don't have them, but let's say, do something like this. Um, you know, um, I'm still connected under my seat, but if damage comes in this way, it's more to lightly go out this way. Or if damage comes in this way, it's allowed to go this way and then come to the front block. Um, but uh, the point is it's still going to destroy this block, which is one of your seat connections, so it's still going to destroy the block. I, I really don't see any kind of uh, validation in what everybody's talking about with the, you know, the Triforce and all that stuff. I mean, yeah, it kind of works, but is it worth it? Eh, I'm not 100% sold, you know. Yeah, it may be worth it, but... What does it actually do? Okay, it makes your robot last. It's, you know, instead of getting killed in, you know, 20 seconds, you might go 30 seconds before you die. You know, and it's like, what does that do? You know, what does that really do for you? So, it, it, it's, it, it, yeah, it works, but nah, it doesn't work. Okay, so now we're in tier, we're about tier one and a half, so... What we want to do is we can upgrade some of this other stuff. And like I said, if you didn't if you didn't do it, let's see if there's any weight difference. Uh, this is uh, 5 kilograms. This is 7 kilograms. So it does have more weight. So we're going to need the Tier 2 wheels. Um, these say, uh, I think they're, they're 9 horsepower, bur uh, brake horsepower. Uh, I think these are still 9 brake horsepower but they can carry a little bit more I think they're like I don't know a little bit faster and got a little oh, I don't even have them T2 steering wheel cube depot T2 steering wheel they're 265 so and one or two batteries you could easily afford that um, oh what did I do No, it's just one. Okay, and uh, movement. My T2 steering wheels. There we go. Now I've upgraded my wheels to tier two. I've upgraded my gun to tier two. I've got tier two things, and notice that got me almost an, a quarter of the way um, to tier three. Um, um, I could afford, you know, I could afford a radar. So let's uh, go ahead and pop that on. Um, it doesn't look like it wants to fit, so let's uh, change this cube out because we do have a non-curved cube. So we'll change that out, and then we'll go into radar, and we'll put our little radar on the back. And what it does in the game, when it picks up an enemy, it, it rotates 
and when it finds an enemy it points like if there's an enemy that way it'll point that way so it's good to have it in a place where you can see it um, some people will put it like this to uh, keep it you know from get shot off from the side or something like that but having it like this lets it um, just kind of lets you uh, see which direction because it can rotate 360 degrees uh, let me put my pilot seat back in that would be very useful um, and um, I have one curve cube left that I've removed so I'll put it here to continue my racing stripe because these blocks right here that are white are not that important so uh, it doesn't really um, affect the structure of the bot uh, and then in movement um, since we're tier 2 we want to go with the tier 2 thrusters which since I can't put them there I'm gonna put them on the side of the bot right here do I not have two of them? I do not movement tier 2 thruster 292 RP I got 10 million so that's pretty good or is that a billion I don't know it's a I got a lot let's take that off and then we'll put it there. gives me the same effect but I probably could put them lower where they can't get shot off let me say no I can't and you can face them any direction. If you want re you want them to go in reverse faster, you can put another set in reverse. Um, if you put them like out here, um, or say right here this way, they could they act as like steering thrusters. Um, thrusters work in any direction that you put them in. So like if I put them facing front, when I push W to go forward, these will activate. If I put a set facing backwards like that. Uh, when I push my S key, then these will activate. If I put some, well, probably here would be a good place because if my gun get that block is shut off, I lose my gun. Uh, when I would push my D key to go right, um, this one over here would fire, and then when I would push my A key to go left, this one over here would fire. So that's how they work. So holy macro, how did that get me? Something is wrong because I went to tier four like nothing. That is wrong. I know what I got? I bet you I put the wrong. Uh, I bet you I put the wrong radar. I bet you I did. Yeah, that's a huge radar. I bet you I put a tier. F yeah, that's what I did. I put a tier five radar on there. Okay. So yeah, like I think I put this tier five radar in there. Yeah, that's what bumped me into tier four. So it I, I could have a better radar, but I have to go into tier four, which tier two guns, so that wouldn't be good. Okay, that's what I did wrong. Okay, so the game's not broken. I've heard people say that their robots are like um with the recent patch they changed the robot ranking, which each one of these parts has a robot ranking and that's how it determines your your tier level. Like right now, I have more tier. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into movement, and um, I have tier three thrusters. Let me see if I can squeeze these guys in. If it will let me. If it'll let me, I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna try them. No, it will not let me squeeze them in. So. I can't do it but can I squeeze another set of tier twos in because I don't think there's well you know what I'm gonna do no I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put some electro plates on because I got tier two electro plates and tier two electro plates all they are is just shields and what you do is you kind of put them wherever they fit um, the tier two ones are very hard to use um, I actually hate like these the least but then as I started using them I started liking them the most uh, so you put a set on there kind of give you some shielding um, let's say nah, not that way let's see I find they always face like I don't want them the direction that they face that's why they're the hardest to use, I find, but 
I would like him protecting my gun from the side, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put me a set in the back. And maybe on the side, maybe. Yeah, let's put them on the side. Okay, you let me go. They let me have that. I'll take it. They put. Let me put in another set, and I have them. I'll put them on. Whoa! I just squeeze that in. Like that's the maximum I can have. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I was gonna put extra guns, some level one guns, just for redundancy. But since I got rid of my deck to mount them on down here by rolling that bottom, let's go ahead and um, hit tab and go practice it. Make sure nothing drags, because that's the you don't want to go into a battle and find out you can't move because you can't really lead the battle. So you want to make sure. And basically, I've gotten more weight, so the bot actually feels a little smoother. It doesn't feel as, uh, it feels a little, uh, the speed is about the same because I added more weight, but my thrusters, I got more thrust, and then the extra weight gives me more traction, so it doesn't feel as, like, skittish. And then now I have more power, and then I have way more armor, so I should be doing a little more damage. It's about the exact, it's, you know, but you see the radar following the enemy? Like, if I turn, the radar faces the enemy, so I find I don't really use the mini-map that much because see the distance I just picked up that second enemy way over there Well, I saw him before the radar picked him up, so it's not really that useful, but on some of the maps where the uh, The stuff is kind of high You got rocks and stuff and uh, big uh, ditches to go through It's kind of good that to look on the mini-map and see exactly where the enemy is and then when you when you get uh, flying enemies, a lot of times I get blasted with, from a plasma bomber and I have no clue. I'm looking up like this and I'm like, where'd that come from? And sometimes he's sitting like behind that rock, you know, a plasma helicopter. He'll duck behind that block. He'll jump up, he'll blast me with plasma, and he'll dive back down. And I'm looking around all like an idiot and then next thing you know I'm blasted with plasma again and I'm dead before I even find out where he's at. So it does do pretty good, but... On my uh, my rail walker, my my one I play the most. I don't even have a radar. I got to where uh, having your e e warfare they call it with your radar and your jammer and your your radar uh, receiver and all that. Uh, it's a good advantage to have in the lower tiers. But once you play the higher tier, see, it just picked up an enemy that way. I didn't even see him, and the radar got it. I was looking at this guy. But, um, I guess mainly because I play a uh, rail walker, and that's a support uh, role. I, um, uh, I pay attention really well. Um, not when I'm playing cruiser, ground vehicle like this, that's fast. Um, uh, and this one's not super fast. It has a lot of blocks. If I took that outer skirt around, it'd probably be just as effective. My wheels would just get shot off just a little bit faster. Um, usually by the time that happens, your guns are gone anyway, and you're dead in a few seconds. But um, that's what size the mega wheels are. And they have, like, a lot of health. I think their health is, like, 14,000 or something. Like, to shoot that wheel off, it takes a lot. It's easier to shoot the blocks that they're, the white blocks that they're connected to, because they still have level 1 health. It's easier just to shoot the blocks that connect the wheels, and, and then it blows the wheels. And then the Mega Pilot seat, I think, connects at 4 or 5 points on the, uh... And this is what I was talking about, about SMGs, they don't... If you get too close to a target, like underneath, I, I can barely hit him. They go kind of wacky, but up close like this, they have no choice to hit him. But, 
they, they don't really as the weapons get bigger that that, that gets a little bit better uh, I think tier one and tier two weapons are exactly the same the tier two is just a little more powerful tier three are actually bigger weapons um, so um, tier three weapons are not gonna fit in the same spot as tier two weapons so it's gonna require you modify the bot and then these tier two electroplates when you get tier three weapons are not gonna be as strong but you you don't have a another option you got tier three electroplates but they're a different shape so a different shape electroplate is going to require a different block or a different, you know, layout. So it kind of forces you in the low tiers to kind of experiment with designs. And uh, but I, I've I've seen people carry, you know, you know the tier three wheels are going to be bigger. They're not going to fit here anymore. So I'm going to have to extend. I might better fit tier threes to where they're almost touching, but um, you know the electro plates and the guns are gonna have to be reworked. I left the gun off. Good thing I came. Oh man, did I, I only got five guns, huh? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I'm taking those electro plates off the back. I forgot to put my gun in. I'm definitely not going without a gun. I'd rather um, hardware. That's why I was so low with tier tier two. Bam, there's my... Okay, that let me... That still put me back. I'm right on the edge of Tier 2.